Kevin speak my language this morning. It's fun to have a, another bull on this show. Oh, my us. God, my heart is warm. <laughs> um, but I, I do think that, and I pray every night for a Fed pivot. You know, I pray to the equity gods. <laughs> um, but, but I think it's realistic, right? I mean, at this point, you're starting to see commodity prices come down dramatically. We saw prices paid come down on that ISM number, which is you know, very disinflationary, disinflationary. So I think the Fed, and we already saw the Bank of England's already pivoted. We've already seen Bank of Australia's already pivoted. And if they pivot, we saw what happens to those markets. They ramp up quick. And if you're not in already, you missed the boat, and that's why I've remained optimistic the whole way through. Bank here. of England pivoted. They still got nine percent inflation, though. I mean, that to me looked more like, ooh, we don't, you know, we don't want to back Liz Truss. We're concerned about cutting taxes, you know. But so that seemed more like a capitulation to me than a recognition that we beat inflation. Don't you think? I, I think it is, but it also says that other banks are starting to soften their position on yeah. what they're doing with monetary policy, and I think it's only time. Look, you can't trust the Fed. You know, don't don't listen to what they say. Listen to what they do. It was only 12 months ago. The Fed was yeah. saying we're not even thinking about thinking about raising interest rates, and now we are. You know, 12 months later, and they're talking about how they have to keep raising interest rates. Yeah. I suspect here, you know, at some point they're going to balk. The market is still down 30 percent year to date. If you look at the the Nasdaq, uh, the Dow about 20 percent. What are you buying? Are you buying those beaten up tech stocks? How, how are you allocated? Since you've been so bullish yeah. on this show for so yeah, well, long, you look, yeah, I have. my diversified portfolios are down much less, by the way, even more like 10 percent for the year because value stocks aren't down as much. If you look at uh, commodity prices are up, I, I think you have to diversify away from tech because the winners of the last 10 years are not the winners of the next 10 years. And that's the mistake I see. I look at like 50 new portfolios a month. Investors too too much in the growth trade. Inflation is going to come down, but it's still going to stay high. That's not a conducive environment for tech stocks.